Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to render props in Omniverse with subsurface scattering. Also a reminder that if you haven't yet, please check out our Getting Started tutorials in order to learn how to set up your iClone scene in Omniverse. Let's start off with how to export subsurface scattering enabled props from iClone. We're going to export these glass bottles in Potted Plant first. If you look closely at the leaves of the plant, you can see the slight glow on certain stems, which is an indicator of subsurface scattering. It will also be indicated by the SSS listed in the shader type, as well as an SSS map in the shader settings. Let's use the USD export button from the toolbar to start our export. The most important thing when exporting here is to ensure that RTX path trace render mode is selected. Since we only want to show material adjustment, we can also just select the current frame. Not too much else here. If you'd like to learn more about exporting in Omniverse, please check out the dedicated tutorial. Next, let's look at material adjustments. You'll notice it's a bit dark when we first import our USD in Omniverse. Let's start enhancing the scene a bit by enabling the visible and primary ray checkbox in our dome light settings, so we can see the IBL image in the background. Then in render settings, select the denoising checkbox as well. The fact that this scene is beside a window might cause the lighting contrast to be a bit too strong, so we can also select the auto exposure checkbox to automatically adjust that. Let's start off by tweaking the material of the bottle on the left. Once we're in the material and shader settings, we can go down to the transmission section and adjust the weight to a higher level. The higher level here, the more transparent the bottle will be. The color you select in this section will also strongly have an effect on the appearance. For a more detailed transmission result, you can apply the base color map of the bottle to the color image field. Once you've done that, you can tweak the color strength by adjusting the depth level. Notice now that the label will not change as much as the glass section of the bottle. IOR, or Index of Refraction, will also change the result significantly. By adjusting this value, you can simulate a change in the thickness of the glass. The weight value in the specular section affects the bottle surface and tweaking this in combination with the IOR value will produce a more natural looking result. Let's take a quick look at the potted plant now and adjust the same settings to simulate some light transmission through the leaves. Again, we can use the same parameters to do this and add the base color map once again to the weight image field in order to make the subsurface scattering more accurate. After the adjustments are done, then you can change the HDRI image for the IBL to simulate different scenarios outside the window. You can see that each scenario has a unique effect on the items on the windowsill. Let's take a look at a different scenario now. Here you can see a Jade Buddha statue with some very apparent subsurface scattering throughout. Let's export this with the same USD settings as before in order to import it into Omniverse. If we adjust the subsurface weight in this scenario to a higher level, the jade will seem much more thick and solid, with less light transmitting through the central area. The scale parameter here will adjust the subsurface scattering range, and can also be used in combination with the weight to get a variety of results. Take a look at what happens to this Buddha statue on the right when we change the base color to a light brown. You'll notice that it's still slightly green due to the transmission setting. You can see that if we increase the weight, that the statue will turn to a dark green hue. What we can do to get more brown in the picture then, is to adjust the transmission color to a similar hue to get a more coordinated result. Again, you can use the weight and depth parameters to control the level of transmission like we did before. It's also important to go to the subsurface section and adjust the parameters there as well. Here I'm adjusting the subsurface color first, and also the radius color. The radius color captures the depth scattering of the prop. That's about it for this simple tutorial on subsurface scattering in Omniverse. For more Omniverse rendering tutorials, please check out our YouTube channel and our Learning Center, and I'll see you in the next video.